Hi, it's Emma here doing my first questions and answers. Now, I've never done it before, but we can see how it goes. Right, my first question is, what inspires you to sing and write your own music? Well, what inspires me is my family. Now, I love them to bits, so getting to write music is, you know, about them is incredible. And so that's what inspires me. And I love writing music anyway, so you know it's the best of both and yeah so i just love my family to them you know the moon and back and i love writing my own song lyrics so yeah that's what inspires me and i love you know writing music how do you cope with your mental health and what things do you do that helps well my whole family know that we've you know i've been through some pretty dark tunnels and you know with my mental health you know it's not been great in the past but you know i'm in a better place now which is great and you know what helps is my family you know them being around me because like i mentioned they are great so having my family around definitely helps keeping busy you know like occupied that definitely helps and um you know singing you know writing songs like you know my first question and yeah just like dancing singing having my family around um doing you know going out places that definitely helps um what is one thing that you want to achieve in the next three years i definitely in the next three years i definitely want to be working with the elderly because i just think they're so incredible like I definitely get on with them like without them we wouldn't be here and I've always grown up around adults like I've never really gotten on with people like my similar age I don't know why but I've always grown up more around adults and anywhere I would go I would be more walking around with them you know than people you know my age or similar I think it's more because maybe I think adults, you know, and elderly aren't as judgmental or, you know, they won't call you behind your back or I don't know. But yeah, definitely in the next three years, I want to be working with the elderly because I think they're just amazing. Um, if someone was making a film about your life, who would you want to play you and why? That's a really good question um definitely Demi Lovato because I feel like in some aspects we relate um because she suffers depression and I suffer you know I suffered depression and she self-harms and I have in the past self-harmed um and yeah so in some you know ways I feel we can relate to each other and so I think if, you know, there was a film, um, I think she'd play it pretty well, you know. So, yeah, definitely Demi Lovato, um, I think I'd want to play. Um, what's your biggest achievement in life? Definitely going from um, being really, you know, depressed to... Can you hear that ice cream van? <laughs> Um, going from really depressed to now feeling so much better and um, being in a right frame of mind and, you know, doing much more than I would have in the past, you know, that's definitely my biggest achievement. Um, what's your favourite thing to do as a family? Um now everyone knows this because i go on about it all the time like i'm the one that arranges it and well not last time because it was pretty hard last time you know gotta admit um it was stressful but i do arrange um them normally um i definitely love family meals because we don't get suit that often because one person might be busy or a few people so i definitely love family meals um yeah so doing like occasions where all the family can meet up 
because I definitely love being with all my family so you know that's anything to do with all the family I love like anything um now I just wanted to finish off by saying something about my mum because she's like literally the greatest so I wrote it down on my phone because literally my memory is just wow it is literally so I just want to finish by saying thank you to my mum for being the greatest mum there is she has been there through thick and thin and I don't know where I'd be without her She's my greatest inspiration and biggest role model and I definitely want to be like her when I'm her age. I'm the luckiest daughter in the whole world and she means absolutely everything to me. I'm so lucky. Thank you. I love you so much. Like literally without my mum, I literally don't know where I'd be like. She saved me so much and like in today's like, you know, world and stuff you're only blessed with so many great mums and i was lucky enough to have one of those and yeah like literally we had the strongest bond ever like i'm so I'm, I, I literally i have no words like i'm so lucky to have her as a mum like she's so fun like she makes me laugh and smile and she keeps the atmosphere so lifted like you know she has like she keeps us all going and you know even when she's going through you know health issues and problems and she's she's still strong and she's just so incredible like i don't know how she does it but yeah like definitely i love her to the moon and back like she's just the best like i have no words like she's just I ha like she's just amazing and i'm so lucky to have her like i love you mum like you're so amazing and just thank you for everything that you've done for me and I, like i don't know what i've done to deserve you like you, you're just the best so thank you and i want to end finally by saying thanks to everyone who gave me these brilliant questions for me to answer they were amazing and meaningful once again thank you so this has been me and i think this first questions and answers have gone pretty well according to like i've never done one before but you know i'm gonna be back with more youtube stuff you know whether it's singing, more question and answers, dancing, you know, never know. So thank you to whoever watches this and thank you to everyone who's sent in the questions and answers and see you next time. Bye!